Hello, 52-Day Focusers. Is that even a word? Well, it is now. Okay, we are so excited to come to you. I've got some amazing diamond leadership on this call with me tonight or today, and we are ready to get you started on this this life-transforming 52 days. Why did we choose this? Well, we were at a leadership retreat, and we studied the book of Nehemiah. Nehemiah built um, this big wall that was 380 foot wide and 100 foot tall in 52 days. And we thought, what the heck? That's a great inspiration for us heading into the new year, heading into conference. Um, so we decided to start this challenge 52 days um, before we head into conference. So here we go. Um, there's nothing. What's cool about this is the wall, Nehemiah could not have built that wall single-handedly. He had a huge, massive team of people that helped him. And that just reminds me so much of our It Works family because all by ourselves, it's so hard to build anything. But together, we can really build an indestructible wall that no one can knock down. So that's one of the main reasons that we chose, you know, the 52 days. And I think it's biblical and it's amazing. I'm going to give you a couple, a few of the rules. Um, be thinking about your goals, okay? Be thinking about them. Get a notebook, cheap old notebook from Walmart, okay? Get a notebook and be ready to use it. We're going to have instructions on every single post every single day, and every single post every single day will be um, will be put up between midnight and 6 in the morning. So when you get up in the morning at 6 a.m., your daily task will be there. These tasks won't be difficult. They'll be 15 to 40 minutes a day. Um, and you will post under each, there will be instructions on each post on where to post and what to do. So please follow them carefully. We've got a couple hundred people doing this, so it's very hard to keep track of everyone. Um, to, we have a two strikes and you're out policy. Um, you can miss one day um, of your challenges. If you miss two, you'll be removed from the group. This is serious for hardcore people. and I know that you guys are all super excited to get your business booming, um, so you won't, you know, you won't be leaving the group. And and we're not doing that to be mean, but we're, we're we've all already agreed as leaders that we will kick each other out of the group if we don't finish the task. So, you know, we're not going to expect any, you to do anything that we won't do. And we're not doing this for ourselves, guys. We're doing this for you to help build your paycheck, build your team. And help you because people are always asking us, what do we do to be successful? How do we get to these levels? Well, that's what this 52 days is about. We want to help you with daily simple tasks that hopefully after 21 days, you know, a habit form. And that's what we're hoping and praying for here. Um, So I have some amazing rock stars on the phone that I would love for them to get on and give you guys some inspiration. These guys are um, diamond and double diamond leaders. Why don't we start out with Pam Foster? Pam, give us some, give us a scoop on, you know, why, what, what about this challenge? Like, why are we doing it? Like, give us your insight. Yeah, I, you know, us doing it all together and um, inspiring each other daily, and and you know, doing these tasks on a daily basis. I know I did one just a few weeks ago, and, and when you do it on a daily basis, you just get inspired by seeing everyone doing, accomplishing the same goals. You know, I was thinking a minute ago is that, you know, are they going to be a walk in the park? No, they're not. But, you know, a walk in the park then gets you to the top of the mountain. It didn't get this wall built either. So, you know, it's going to push us a lot, but we're just going to have to push, push through those fears. And when you push through the fears, that's when big, huge, amazing things happen, you know, uh, with your business. You just have to, you know, get over yourself, get past yourself, and just do it. It's going to be fun. I'm excited about it. I can't wait. Thank you, Pam. I just love what you said about the, the mountain part of it. So true. April, are you there? I'm here. Hey, everybody. I just wanted to say um, this group is for the serious only, and we all need to focus. You know, work your steps with us. Work them. I mean, even if it's, um, you have to do them every day, everyday life. I'm just saying from my experience, like I work in the school. 
I'm wrapping somebody tomorrow. You know, just share your business with people. It's not it's not difficult. You just have to get out there and be excited about it. Be own the business. Like this is your business and you need to be serious about it. And I just think that you know, we can all do this. And it's very, very important to just follow this group if you're serious. And just have fun with it. Just have fun. And that's all I have to say about that. I love the fun part. Holly. Hey, I'm just so, so, so excited about all of this. And um, I just finished a 30-day challenge that was hard, but it was so rewarding. And let me tell you, there are mornings that you're going to wake up and immediately you are going to doubt yourself. But you need to replace those thoughts that second was positive thoughts because what those doubts are, they're tricking you into believing that you are better off not doing that, that you'll be safer if you don't do that. What you need to do is step out of your comfort zone. I promise you, I promise you, it is not as scary as what you create in your mind. Just take control of the thoughts, replace them with positive, and, you know, realize that you are so worthy of this. You are so worthy of so much more than just the average life. And just know that, you know, we're all cheering you on. We want it for you. We want to see you succeed. We want to see you do this. We want to see you step out of your comfort zone. And just have the most fun with it. I love what you said about having doubts. I mean, we are all busy people. We all have stuff going on. We've all got kids and deaths in our family and sick people. And oh, just don't doubt yourself. Just keep your dreams in mind. I love that, Holly. Okay, Carrie. Well, I just, one of the things that has stood out to me as I started reading Nehemiah is just that he talks about gathering his own together in a dwelling place. And I just feel like that's really what this is going to be doing is bringing those of us together that are serious to encourage one another and also feel like we have kind of like an organized method of really learning the system that after even a couple of days we can start seeing, oh, I could do that every day. And um, and I think that's really what something like this is going to be designed for is just to help us get a little focused and maybe find a little more detail in knowing what to do. Um, especially if we're new or even if we've been around for a while and just feeling like we got distracted, this doing it together, I think it's really, really exciting. I love that because we are such a big family and that's what's so beautiful about this challenge is that we're all doing it together. Love that, Carrie. Rachel. Hey, everybody. I am so excited about this uh, group that we have going um there's going to be there are going to be days that um that these challenges are going to cause us to step outside of our comfort zones and we don't like to be outside of our comfort zones but we have to keep in mind that that is where we grow is when we do something different and um and the difference between where you are now and where you want to be is just what you do. And I just really can't wait to see where all of us are at the end of January when we get through with these 52 days. I can't wait to see um, the changes that have that uh, we've made in our businesses and in ourselves. And um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. I love that. The difference about, what did you say, the difference about where you are and where you want to be is what you do? Oh, my gosh, I'm writing that down. So good. Um, Marvy. I'm just so excited to be a part of this. And um, and I remember where I was um, almost a year ago today sitting in conference, and um, Mark Pentecost gave us 72 days to make a difference in our lives, and, and God gave Nehemiah 52 days. And when I tell you that 72 days made a huge difference in my life, I'm pretty sure that 52 days is going to make a really huge difference in a lot of your lives and refocusing you and and helping you to um, to just get to that next level that that you're dreaming for and that I think that this group is is really um, focusing on 
on you and what you need and what you want and and where you want to be. So I'm super excited to be part of this a part of this team and a part of this whole entire group. So I wish you and each and every one of you the best throughout the next 52 days and continue to pray over your business every single day. That's so good, Marvy. And as I listen to each one of you talk, like you're all just such great leaders and so smart. And that's what's going to be really cool about this this whole thing is like all of our different personalities coming together to do this challenge and it'll be cool. I'm going to, I'm already learning from you guys after one phone call. So I can't imagine what we're going to learn by the end of 52 days. Guys, just remember you got to commit for 52 days. Anyone can do anything for 52 days, right? We're going to keep it pretty simple for you, but we're going to make stuff that's hopefully going to, going to grow your lives, grow your dreams and grow your businesses. We want to end out tonight with Carla giving us a few words of wisdom and then praying over our 52 days as we, as we get this awesome sauce rolling. Hey, team. Hey, I am so excited to do the 52-day challenge. Um, you know, one of the things is you have to give your dream a chance to live. And how do you do that? You nurture it daily with seeds of determination, inspiration, drive, and creativity. And that's what the 52-day challenge is going to do. It's going to give you ideas. It's going to give you new things new challenges every day to go out and work your business. And you have to feed it with passion, faith, patience, positive expectations that the seeds that you sow, you're going to reap a harvest of that. And you have to allow it to to blossom, to surround yourself with people who are doing the exact same thing, which all of us will be doing in the 50-day challenge. Um, And you you have to keep doing it with people who are doing this with their lives daily. You have to believe in working hard, you know, and making things happen for yourself. Um, Many people, you know, allow their dreams to die from negative conversations, procrastination, lack of preparation. Some people just don't understand, how do I get started? Some of you may be new. Some of you may be, have been in this business for a while. But for those of you that are new, it may just be a lack of preparation and knowing what direction to go. And most of all, um, from doubt, you know, a lot of people, you know, with the procrastination, lack of preparation, um, a lot of people um, miss their dreams because, you know, they fear, they fear, um, they have doubt. You know, you have to hold yourself to a higher standard. You have to build resiliency skills every day that allow you to overcome your next challenge. You know, you have to keep your dreams alive. You have, you, every, each and every one of us have greatness within us. Each one of you listening right now have greatness within you. And you have to let that determination and your persistence be the fuel um, to work your business and to have that passion and that fire. Because each one of you has a success story that is waiting right in front of your face to be written. So you just have to keep going. And like everyone else says, you have to pray over your business every day. Invite the Lord into it and then just watch him. Watch what he does. 52 days can make a huge difference for your business. So we're just excited for all of you guys, and um, it is going to be challenging, but you know what? It's going to be worth it. So we're excited. We can't wait to get this thing going and just watch everybody promote, watch everybody grow personally, watch everybody connect as as a team. And uh, this is going to be exciting. This is going to be very exciting. I'm excited. Okay, Carla, why don't you um, end us off with a good old 52-day exciting prayer. All right, here we go. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just come to you right now, Lord, with very humble hearts, grateful hearts, thankful hearts for this opportunity. But most of all, Lord, we come to you today as one team, with one mission to expand our businesses, and we call upon your promises, Lord, to bless us abundantly. It is our time to come up to a new level. We've seen it happen for others, but it is our time to see your blessings and favor, Lord. It's our time to accomplish our dreams. We will not be defeated, Lord. It may look impossible, but we know that, Lord, you can do the impossible. It may seem that it's taken a long time, but in due season, we know that we'll reap the harvest if we just don't give up. We call forth in your name, Lord, and decree that now is our time. We believe that you have equipped us with everything to 
that we need and all the tools that we need to build this wall, Lord. And we can do all things through Christ if we fulfill our God-given destiny. We believe that you will direct our paths, Lord. We believe that you will bring the people that we need to accomplish our goals. Our breakthroughs, Lord, are closer than we think. And we just ask you, Lord, to infuse us with your strength and believe to accomplish these goals both individually and as one team with one mission. And, Lord, we are so grateful. We are so grateful for this opportunity. But most of all, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for dying on the cross for our sins so that we may have eternal life with you. And we just ask all of this in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. Ladies, let's go rock out this 52 days. Yeehaw! Let's do it, Katie. Yee to the hall. Yee to the hall.